Hey, this is Jimmy Blevins. I've got a tutorial for you today. Just something really quick. I'm going to show you how to save a module as a kind of like a template in your library and then pull it back out and put it on your website. It's really simple. Um, I just made a quick button. Button says click me. Awesome button there. Okay, so this little symbol with the arrow and the circle in it, this is where you save your module to the library. What this is going to do is it's going to put this in a library for this website so that I can go back and grab this button and I won't have to recreate it a, th a hundred times if I wanted to put it on several different pages. So we'll call this the click me button. And this will include all the settings that you've got for it, your general settings, your advanced design and your custom CSS. So if you just had like a, a starting point, but you didn't want to save the CSS, or some of the advanced design features, you could deselect those right here. Um, and this last one is for categories. So if we've got a lot of different modules in our library and we want to organize them a little bit, so we'll create a new category called buttons to put this one in. So then we just save that to the library and then that's good to go. It's saved in there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in the trash and just start, start fresh. So if I click here, add from library to insert this module and I've got click me button so I click there boom there's the click me button and you know say I was working on a landing page and I wanted to have this uh, come up several times I can just keep adding it as many times that I want and then because this isn't a global library item any changes that I make to a particular button it's not going to affect any of the other buttons on the page so Say I wanted to do custom styles for this one and just make it a different color just really quick. Let's pick orange. So now you can see this button is different um, and this button stayed the same even though they're both from the same library item. So that pretty much takes care of it. That's how you save something to the library and then grab it and pull it on the page. This will work for any module in the Divi Builder. Um, either on the back end or here in the visual builder. So my name is Jimmy Blevins. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and we'll see you the next one.